All right, boxers, we are really excited to show you some of the two-dimensional improvements that have been made to BuildBox 3. I wanna start by showing you one of the most useful tools for developing in two dimensions. Over here at the top, we have this multi-tool. You go ahead and select it, and when you select one of the images in your scene, you press this little button over here on the left, and it shifts the camera up so that you can move your items forward and backward easily, and you can see where the depth sorting is happening. So let's say, for instance, I wanna move this pipe back. I'll go ahead and I'll hit Control Z, and I'll hit Shift on my keyboard and select this entire pipe and then I'll press this button I'll move it back a little bit and that's perfect and then now I might move it over here to the side so it looks like it's coming off here from the side so this is just another amazing tool that makes development in two dimensions so easy with BuildBox now let's take a look at an example where you're adding a jump button for your character first we're gonna go over to our mind map and then we're gonna go to our 3d world user interface or 3d world UI and we're going to add in a jump button Let's go over here to the buttons menu, grab a control button, and then just drop it in. Now I'm going to open up my images folder and I'm going to drop in the top of my jump button and I'm also going to drop in the bottom of my jump button image and that is when the button is selected. I'll go ahead and select the button in the user interface and I'll press my command button and I'll also hold down the shift button and it puts it in a right degree angle for me and it's really really simple. I'll turn down the opacity a little bit so it looks real nice when we actually play the game and I'm also going to name this jump. Now I'm going to go back to my mind map, back to my 3D world and I'm going to select my main character's node map. Now I'm going to add in the jump movement and the jump control here as well. First, let's take a jump node and let's go ahead and just drag it into our node map. I'm going to set the jump force in the Y direction to six, and I'm gonna set the jump limit to one, so we can only allow the character to jump once. Now, I'm going to add in a UI button here and drop that in as well. Let's go ahead and zoom in here so you can see this a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset the jump when we collide with the ground, and I'm also going to enable the jump when we press this UI button. We're going to select the jump button that we created before. So now the UI button knows that we're pressing that jump button in our UI. And then I'm also going to hook this up to the state machine and I'm going to hook it up to the jump state. When this happens, it's going to play a jump animation. Over here, I've got an animation node and I already have a jump animation set in place. But dropping in a jump animation is really, really simple. You just take your PNGs and you drop them in here and it's really easy. Now let's go ahead and press play and let's see our character jump with this new button I've got. I press the little jump button here and you can see that the character makes a nice jump and then once it touches the ground, it goes back to an idle animation. It's really smooth and really easy with BuildBox that took no time at all and I can't wait to see what you all do when you could rapidly develop like this. Now let's take a look at taking a 3D environment and making a 3D game into a two-dimensional game. Let's take this Scarecrow Runner game for instance. This is obviously a three-dimensional game, but with BuildBox it's very easy to turn this into a two-dimensional game. So this is our current 3D world and this is what was used in the setup in the example I showed you before. But it is so easy with BuildBox to turn this into a two-dimensional looking world. It's as easy as going up here to the upper right hand corner and clicking one button 2D. And you can see now that the camera has been positioned to the side so that everything looks two-dimensional. Now let's go ahead and preview our game now that the camera has been set to two-dimensional. You can see now that all of the 3D objects in the world have a very two-dimensional look. The look and feel of this game has completely changed. You can see the platforms are all now at right angles. The shading and the shadows are completely different. And this is all just by pressing one button. And you can zoom in and out and get closer and farther away. But this is a good look at what you can expect when you switch to 2D. Here's another example of just how easy it is to work with BuildBox in a 2D environment. Let's take this character for instance. I've got this character here and when I press the up button, you can see that the character looks up. But what if I wanna add a keyboard button control to this? It's really, really simple with BuildBox. I'm gonna just go over here to my controls and I'm gonna add in a keyboard node. This is a keyboard button node and I'm gonna do basically the same thing as this look up button over here on the right, which is the UI button I just showed you. I'm going to hook it up so that it looks up when it's pressed, and when it's released, 
it's going to idle. And then all I have to do is go over here to the corner and assign it the up button on the keyboard. And then now when I play my game and I hit the up button on my keyboard and you can see here I do not have to press the button. I'll leave my mouse over here. I'm just pressing up on the keyboard. The character is looking up and it works perfectly. It really is that easy with BuildBox. Thank you boxers for watching this video. We are really excited to see what games you make and we hope that you not only make great three-dimensional games but awesome two-dimensional games as well.